I'm standing on the River Clyde, well, not literally, but go with me. For a century, this was the world's engineering powerhouse, a place that didn't just build ships, it launched ambitions. Picture this waterway when it sounded like thunder, a constant, deafening symphony of industry. Steel rang, sparks flew, the Queen Mary, the QE2, ships that stitched oceans together, born right here. Then came the rust, a slow, creeping silence. Cheaper global yards undercut prices, containers changed shipping forever, oil shocks hit hard, old machinery couldn't compete, messy politics did the rest, work slowed, sirens faded, docks fell quiet. For a city built on heavy metal and heavy graft, that silence was loud. It was the sound of an identity crisis. But here's the twist, rust isn't the end, it's the texture before revival. The Clyde still knows ships, it's in the water, in the DNA. Govan. Steel plates under lasers. Scotstone. Steel plates under lasers. Type 26 frigates assembly. Precision cutting and fitting. Ferguson Marine Yard. Smarter ferries. Cleaner propulsion. Lessons learned becoming playbooks. The skills? They didn't vanish. They retooled. Welders at work. Sparky's wiring systems. Planners with drawings. CAD screens and robotic assists. Apprenticeships are back. Mentors who can read a hull by its echo passing on generations of knowledge. Zoom out. Offshore wind platforms being assembled. Tidal turbine housings being fabricated. Repair, refit, modular builds. Glasgow can do that in its sleep and wake up paid for it. The same river that floated liners can float low carbon work for decades. It's not a movie montage. This is real work. Contracts won, skills retained, standards raised, deadlines met, Riverside Museum telling the story. Cranes, some just silhouettes now, point at what's next. If the last century was bigger ships, this one is smarter ships, quieter hulls, lighter alloys, digital twins on screens, hydrogen-ready systems, not just floating giants, floating solutions, the Clyde as a workshop for the climate age, rust on the edges, sure, but in the middle, sparks again. If you've ever believed a city could learn, adapt and relaunch, this is your proof. From raw to quiet to a different kind of noise. Not all comebacks look like the past. Some look like tomorrow, built today on the Clyde. This revival stands on the shoulders of giants. Robert Napier, John Elder, William Denny, William Beardmore, Henry Bell, Isabella Elder.